Metric Unit Conversions Lesson 1. Today's objective is to express metric length measurements in terms of a smaller unit. We are also going to model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric length. Let's start by reviewing how to convert units. If I have 100 centimeters, I know that that is equal to one meter. If we looked at a meter stick, we would be able to see that on one meter there are 100 centimeters. So that means if I have 200 centimeters, I have two meters. Another example is if I had 800 centimeters, I would have eight meters. We can also convert units the other way. If I have one meter, I know that I have 100 centimeters. If I have five meters, I know that I have 500 centimeters. Five meters equals 500 centimeters. If I have 12 meters, I know that there are 100 centimeters in every meter. So that means that I have 1,200 centimeters, or 1,200 centimeters. Now we are going to look at meter and centimeter number bonds. They're called number bonds because it's how they are bonded together. If we think back to what we just learned, we know that one meter has 100 centimeters. So if I have 150 centimeters, I can break that up using that knowledge about centimeters and meters. If I think of 100 of those centimeters can be represented as one meter. How much do I have left over? One meter is 100 centimeters. So I know that I have 50 centimeters left over. So 150 centimeters is the same as one meter and 50 centimeters together. That is a number bond. If I come over here and look at two meters, I can think of that in the terms of one meter and then I can also think of it instead of having just a second meter I can think of it as also having 100 centimeters. One meter and a hundred centimeters is the same as two meters. Here's our application problem. Mia, Jack, and Meredith sprinted a combined distance of 10,000 meters. Mia sprinted 3,206 meters. Jack sprinted 2,094 meters. How far did Meredith sprint? So we're going to have to think back to what we learned in our previous unit about adding and subtracting large numbers. We also have to remember what we know about multi-step problems. I may want to use a tape diagram to solve this problem, or I can use my standard algorithm to solve this problem. I think I'll begin by using a standard algorithm. So I'm going to make sure I understand my problem. This is the total amount for all three people, 10,000 meters. Mia sprinted 3,206, while Jack sprinted 2,094. So I can add Jack's and Mia's together to find out their combined total. So let's do that now. 3,206 plus 2,094. 6 plus 4 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 9 is also 10. Carry the 1. 
1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So together, I know that this represents Mia and Jack's sprinted distance in meters. Now I have to find out how much Meredith ran. Well, I know their total amount is 10,000. So I will take 10,000 and I'll subtract from that the total that Mia and Jack ran, which we found out was 5,300. I can do 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. To do 0 minus 3 I can't, so I need to borrow from this and make that a 10. Borrow from that. We have a 9. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 5 is 4. So I find out that Meredith ran 4,700 meters. Ignore that bell. Meredith ran 4,700 meters. It's very important that we always include our units when we're talking about distance. Now we are going to begin discussing metric units of length and how big they actually are. To successfully solve metric problems, we have to understand what the metric system is. So here are a few examples of centimeters, meters, and kilometers. We're going to add more to this list at a later time. When you think of a centimeter, think of the length of a staple. That's how big one centimeter is. When you think of a meter, look to the height of our countertop. That's about one meter in length from the floor to the height of our, the top of our counter. If you're thinking of a kilometer, it's the distance you can walk in about 12 minutes. It's less than a mile. Other examples can be added at a later date, but think of benchmarks to help you remember the different metric units of length. At the start of this video, we compared meters and centimeters we found out that one meter equals 100 centimeters. But now we want to find out how big is a kilometer. You can see the first example is done already. One kilometer equals 1,000 meters. One kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So for every kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. So now, can we figure out how many meters are in two kilometers? Well, we can do two times 1,000 to find out that in two kilometers, there are 2,000 meters. The same example goes on. In three kilometers, there are 3,000 meters. In seven kilometers, there are 7,000 meters. Now we have a big jump if we're thinking about 70 kilometers, which is quite a big distance. 70 kilometers is the same as 70,000 meters. For all of these, we're multiplying by a rate of 1,000 because we know that one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So now we're going to take these measurements and we're going to convert them to meters. So if I have one kilometer and 500 meters, I can turn that all into a meter unit of measurement. So I'm going to convert one kilometer, 500 meters, to meters. Well, I know that one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So I have one kilometer. So instead of thinking of it as one kilometer, I'm going to think of it as 1,000 meters. And I'm going to add to that 500 meters. So when I put 1,000 meters together with 500 meters, I get 1,500 meters. 
we can never add together or put together units that are not the same. Like if I looked at this one and I have one kilometer and 500 meters, I couldn't say that I have 501 meters because one kilometer is worth 1,000 meters. So we always have to remember to do conversions before we start combining units. So let's look at this problem. One kilometer, 300 meters equals blank meters. So for this, I want to use my same knowledge up here that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So again, I have one kilometer plus 300 meters. So I have a total of 1,300 meters. My next one has five kilometers. So if we think back to what we did on the previous slide, we know that five kilometers represents 5,000 meters. And then I can add to that 30 meters. So my answer, 5 kilometers and 30 meters, is the same as 5,030 meters. We just converted to meters, but let's do it the other way. Let's now take meters and convert it to kilometers. 2,500 meters is equal to how many kilometers? I know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So I have 1,000, 2,000 meters. So 2,000 of my meters can be represented as 2 kilometers. So 2,000 meters represents as 2 kilometers. Now I have 500 meters left. That's not enough to make another kilometer, so I can write my answer as 2 kilometers with 500 meters. We don't always have nice whole numbers to fit together. So 2,500 meters is equal to 2 kilometers 500 meters. If we look at this next one, 5,000 5 meters is equal to how many kilometers? Well, I know that 5,000 meters is the same as 5 kilometers. And then I just have 5 meters left, so I will write in 5 kilometers, 5 meters is my answer to that. We're now going to look at adding mixed units. The important word here is mixed units. I have the problem 5 kilometers plus 2,500 meters. Well, I know we can't add different units together. One of our units is kilometers and one of them is meters. That's what makes it a mixed unit. So we can rename kilometers to meters before adding. So instead of 5 kilometers, I'm going to think of it as 5,000 meters. 5 kilometers equals 5,000 meters. So now that I have it in meters, and my other unit is in meters, I can add those two together. So I can take 5,000 meters in replace of 5 kilometers, and then add to that 2,500 meters. I find out my total is 0, 0, 5, 7. 5 kilometers plus 2,500 meters is the same as 7,500 meters. This one I wasn't asked what unit, or I wasn't told what unit to put my final answer in. If I'm not told, I can put it any form I like. Oftentimes, you'll be told what unit your final answer should be in. The last unit we're going to look at today is subtracting mixed numbers. So we have kilometers, 10 kilometers minus 3 kilometers and 4, 140 meters. 
So for this, again, we have some different units, which makes it mixed units. We need everything to be in the same unit, so we're able to properly subtract. To do this problem, I'm going to convert everything into meters. 10 kilometers can be written as 10,000 meters. And 3 kilometers, 140 meters, can be written as 3,140 meters. Now I can set up a subtraction problem. 10,000 minus 3,140. When I subtract these numbers, I can do 0 minus 0. Now I have to come and borrow. Turn that to a 9 to borrow. Borrow. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 3 is 6. So I get an answer of 6,860. And what unit is this in? Well, I converted to meters, so both of these over here were meters, so my final answer is in meters. Now, boys and girls, you are going to try some of these problems on your own or with a partner. You are to complete pages 1 and 2 in your packets, the Lesson 1 Problem Set. Begin working on these now. Thank you.